welcome back. I'm um, going to tie a wee flag called the, the Under Gilly. Now the hook in the vase is a, a Partridge Patriot double in size 8 in silver. The thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 3880 in red. So I'm just going to come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. And we'll just get our thread started here. Now, this is probably a slight variant. And I hate to call it a slight variant, but I'll explain that as we get to the, the wing. Now the tag on the rib is a UTC wire. I'll show you it here in hot yellow. Break a bit of this off. Now, I'm going to tie this in underneath the shank of the hook. And then just work my thread down until I'm sort of away somewhere between the, the point and the, the barb of the hook. Somewhere like that. Then I'm just going to come around with five, take five turns of the wire just because it's thinner. I was using the gold of it. Take four turns on the last turn, bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. And then just tie your thread forward. You don't need to be too neat. Body's dubbed on this one. Then we're going to fold the, the wire back for the rib and work our thread back down. The tail, just looking at a mix of orange and yellow bucktail. I've got some here. You just want this to be around about twice the length of the hook or so over the back. Run with a pinch and loop, a couple of tight turns, come in and throw away the, the waist. Into the tail you want some gold, orange and uh, yellow. This is just um, micro flash. Just sort of way you get a, a strand of each. Offer that up, a couple of turns, fold the excess back, trim that away. At this point, just work your thread forward, tying in the, the cut ends of the bucktail, and just work the thread back down nice and tight. Now, just as I come down onto the tail, it's going to hold the tail because I want to come down tight onto it, just really tightening up with the tension on the bobbin here. Now the body, I'm going to use uh, gold light bright. You can use um, gold angel here if you wish. Or any gold dubbing like flashaboo or anything like that will work. So we'll just get the dubbing started on the hook. Then we can just tighten up as well as we go. It wants to go forward at the eye, just sweep it back, bring your thread turns down. Then we're going to come up with the, the hot yellow ultra wire. Four turns. Fly this around with your thread. A couple of turns will catch that in and you can bend and break away the wire. At this point I'm just going to come in with some Velcro. Just bring out some of the some of the gold light bright just into the wee dressing. Just try and sweep it back then. The water will do this for you once it's had a swim into the into the tail. No real no point really putting gold light bright on if you're not gonna brush it out, I think. The wing, eh, this is where it could become a variant. This is orange and yellow bucktail. And you can also mix some black bucktail into this for the wing. But I'm just going to go with this now. I just want this sort of way coming past the, the bends of the hooks. Just going to come around with a pinch and loop. And then just a couple of tight turns. Come in and trim away the waist. Now the end of that I want to place in uh, some black micro flash. 
914 six strands of the microflash is what the original dressing gives I think but I'm just going to fold this back and then come in and trim away on top of that I'm going to come in with a wee bit of arctic runner in black You could have just put in the, the black uh, bucktail, but you want to see it you putting the, just taking a step out basically with the, the Arctic runner. It's up to you. I just, I like the Arctic runner. It's a lovely mobile fiber. I just wanted to have it longer than the, than the, the underwing. Remember with the pinch and loop. The nice tight turns. Turn away the waist. At this point, I'm just going to come down over the cut ends. Sort of way trying to tidy everything up, and then back up again. Anyway, we're not looking too bad. We're having the business. Throat. You can use orange bucktail, or in this case, this is just some orange cock hackle fibre for the first part of the throat I should say right. just want this coming back sort of way to the tag will do nicely just have a wee check come in and clip away the waist ends then in front of that you're looking some guinea fowl, dyed blue. A couple of pinches. Now I want this less the length than the of the, the orange. Just offer that up, pinching it up the way. Take into it. Yet again, spin it round. All we checks so we were sitting. Have enough of that. Come in and trim away the waist. Now we're, we're not looking too bad. Just get that wing sitting nice for me. And then I'm just going to bring my thread down over the cut ends of the, the haggle fibers. Just sort of way tidying up. Now don't be shy with the head on this fly. Then just to finish off, we're going to put on two. Jungle cock eyes. So, start with them up to the hook. Just loose turns. Just to get them sitting. Yeah. We'll bring them up. Just check that length. Pop in off that. Just checking the length of them. Yep. Then just tighten up. Always try and, if you can, fold the stems of your jungle cock back. Because if you do that, it just means that the they have to break off, they can't pull out on you. I'm right, just going to build up the head here with a thread. Nice. Nice red head on the fly. Nice and tight, keeping your thread tight. You can break away the stems of the jungle cock. <coughs> Excuse me, beg your pardon. And then we're just going to come in and throw in a, a whip finish. Put the thread nice and tight and trim away the, the tan thread. Now the first coat onto the, onto the head. Just want a wee bit of super glue. So just just under the head now, you don't want to go under the into your dressing. It'll just ruin your your hard work. And then once that dries guys, I'll come in and hit that with a with a couple of coats of uh, varnish. But there you go, that's the, the under gully. I think that's a Tony Black fly. Well, it's just a slight furry in because I've put the um, 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the Arctic runner on top. And if you don't want to do that, just put the, the, the black bucktail, mix it in with the, the orange and yellow and the wing. But there you go, guys. And a very, very good pattern. All the right colour combinations for Atlantic salmon all year round. Great wee fly. You can also tie it on a, on a gold hook um, if you wish. Anyway, give that one a go. Let me know how you get on. Until the next time, take care of yourselves, enjoy your time, look after your families, and I'll see you on the next one.